Hi everyone, today I want to show you how you can save and reuse your favorite True Terrain mixes um, with the newest or latest add-on from the guys from True FVX, True Assets. Um, and um, before I show you how you can do that, let me show what will be the result. So let's head over to True Assets Material. That I have created a category with a couple of presets already. So all you can have to do is just pick one, drag it in, and bam, there you go. And I've created a couple of presets already, which I can use in future projects. Yeah, and silly ones as well. So let me show you how you can do the same thing. Okay, good. By let's just go step by step and open a new file. This is my start file and I'm going to just for the sake of it right now, I'm going to name this asset making blend you don't have to you can just use any any file okay um, you know the process I love to work with height maps and so I'm taking one of you know what let's go with cliff 6 because that's a height map I have provided you for free on Gumroad the link will be in the description drag it in scale by 200 Control A, apply the scale, go back to your modifier, bring back the 200 in the strength. And while we're here, we'll just adding a subdivision surface modifier, make it invisible because we only want it in the render and bring it on top of our stack. So that's more or less it. So let's find a nice camera angle maybe something like this looks okay like so okay and just fiddle with the light I've got just Nishita sky in here and as always my general exposure is set to minus three which you can set here in the render properties at the bottom in the exposure setting. Okay, now let's create very quickly a new terrain. So let's go just with ground and cliff. Um, not going with the bug pack because some of you might not have that. Let's make a desert scene or just give it a desert ground. And the scale of our material displacement, 0.1, we scaled it up by 200, so that is 2. And then we're going to play with these settings. So displacement, I always, usually for the ground, I'm, I'm good with 0.2. And um, as we're working with the height map, which is already UV, mapped we can use the advanced mapping and just click on uv map and there we go we've got a pretty nice scaling of our ground however for the ground i usually like it a little bit smaller so i'm increasing the value of let me just show you come mm. on um of this text texture size reduction to two so it's a little bit smaller here which is good enough and i don't need to work do anything else in here so before we go to cliffs i click the three dots in here and i'm copying my settings right here okay going to cliffs click to use let's stick with the desert theme and find something for our cliffs, which will be this. And 
I can just paste in the values of the ground and that will already give me a proper scaling. However, I'm going to change two things or maybe even three. Let's see. First of all, I don't want a texture size reduction in my cliff. So bring this back to one. Yep. And I'm going to increase the displacement of the cliffs to 0.4. And maybe play with the blend settings a little bit. So I want more ground. So that is easily done. So we're decreasing this value to 0.3. Ground cliff coverage and can increase the blending to 0.4, something like this. And that should give us a little bit more ground and nice cliff. Now, what I can see already is that my ground is a little bit too, too similar to my cliff. So let's go with something darker. Let's go with this one. Yeah, the sun is very strong in that, but we can increase the O intensity. But let's find something that works better with this angle. And what about this? Yeah, we could go with this. And we can go to HSL and decrease the lightness to 0 0.8. Maybe even 0.5. Yep, that works for me. Why I'm doing this is because the effort you take to make a great landscape now can be saved for future, not only reference, but for future usage. So that's why I'm going into that. So, and I'm going to do the same fiddling with the cliffs. Um, I just love the option of over here. So let's bring in some dark patches and give it AO based dirt and AO based weathering, which will make this very, very light. So let's decrease this to 0.4. Right, I like that. Okay. So I'm still not happy with the ground, but that's easy. We've made all the, you know what? Let's go with forest. I know we've got some darker forest things in here. So let's go with this one. Yep, but I don't like the anti-tile on that. And maybe we should go with proper texture mapping in here and give it like 25. And click the edge tile on again. Maybe even a little bit bigger. Something like that. Or let's go with this one. Yes, let's go with this one. It's just a personal preference and maybe, okay. So that is what we, what we have created right now. And we can give this back to one. Yep. And maybe increase the saturation to 0.2. Fine. Texture size, all that is good. That's fine. That's all fine. Now, finally, let's save this as a preset. And this is really easy. You just head over to your true asset section of your true FVX portion of the add-on and you say mark assets from this file. 
and we are not going to use any objects we just want the materials we don't need node groups we don't need worlds and we're creating a new one which is that and bam already it is in here my system is just spooling up and creating a preview icon which I will show you in a second is not giving you a good representation of what your terrain will entail but I'm also going to show you how you can change that so let's just wait until this is done and we can then check if it has been saved in our true assets material section because right now it's in our current file should be done in a second well, let's head over and see is it already there no it's not current file so this will take just a bit and as soon as it's done I'll show ah here it is okay and as you can see um, it's let's make it large it's not the best representation of what this terrain includes but it's easily fixed how can you do that so right now we're going to take this as it is and make a render which we can really bring down to a hundred samples and the size can be like 10% of 4k and hit F12 that is big enough for sure you could also as I have done use an, uh, an even size so like 400 by 400 800 by 800 uh, resolution and you can stick with that and use your terrain and for future icon rendering but that's what we're going to do now so we've got this let's go with the view layer and we're going to save this as somewhere we can remember ideally you're going to create an own icon folder I've done already a couple of them so let's call it terrain icon 06 save the image now you cannot if you open up the preferences here um, well obviously you can let me just see because usually it should not work that way but it does if we're heading over to our materials yeah well that's where where we need it and you cannot change it here but what we can do is open up the blend file where this material has been stored and in there should just take a minute or so in there we're going to do exactly what we did before we're heading over to our asset browser we've got our terrain in here opening up these preferences and assign our custom icon to it we're saving that and we're closing it and it's there and we can put this in to our preset folder again and let's just double check we're going to use a new terrain something completely different with no settings on it apply the scale bring it back subdivision invisible on top something like this and let's head over to our true asset materials here is our saved preset drag and drop it in and there you have it 
And that looks actually pretty good. Yep, that's fine. Let's give it a quick render and see. Uh, oh, it's still. Yeah, we don't need that. We need. Uh, whatever, I'm not going to. <laughs> that was my mistake. But that's how you create your uh, and begin to build up your True Terrain preset file. Obviously, you need True Terrain. Obviously, you need your materials installed. Um, but this is a great way to just save those great terrains you have created for future usage. Hope this was something useful and helpful for you and see you in the next video. Bye. Thanks.